Hello, hello. Oh my god. Oops. Close. Um, alright. So, we're back. Uh, it's a little later than usual, by like an hour, or, no, half an hour? Half an hour. Um, which can be explained by I was, you know, searching for work, for, uh, gainful employment. You know how that'd be. Unless you're, you know, not looking for work, in which case, good for you! You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But, if you are like me and looking for work, um... Dress for the part. You know? Like, uh, I went to a career fair and I was coming off of uh, my part-time job, so... Maybe it was a bit more understandable. But, um, in general, they want you to, you know, be all suited and, uh... The business casual the minimum. I'm not. Probably should also tie up my hair, but, you know, legally they're not supposed to be stopping me from getting a job in that specific manner. But... <coughs> anyway, <coughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I thought we'd be done with this game yesterday, but we're still in it. So, I'm gonna cut the preamble and just, you know, continue. Anywho... Anywho... Let's, uh, let's try this. Want one? Hmm? No thanks. I don't smoke. Alright, I got a text from Alma. Boss! Alma and Jill didn't fuck! Well, that's a bummer! She is sending congratulations your way, though. Tell her I said thanks. I guess. So, who was the lucky girl? So it was a guy? Hmm, never thought you swung that way. It wasn't a guy. So it was a girl. And you did fuck. I don't feel comfortable talking about that. You know? You don't make things easy for me, though. How so? I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to, you know? You never talk about yourself. You're talkative so long as it doesn't involve you directly. Teasing you is literally the only way I know how to get through to you. You make me sound like some weird loner. You are a, a weird loner. At least tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with whoever it was. I did. Good for you! Why are you humming Sunshine Stone so much, though? Well, after that idol girl came yesterday again, I looked up her discogra uh, discography, and I can't stop humming or listening to them. Right. Oh god, you didn't fuck the idol girl, did you? No, why would that be a problem, though? I don't know, it just feel... weird. Well, that's for the, uh, that's for the break. Let's go back. Right. Oh, and Jill? Hmm? Keep in mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way we won't tease you so often. Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I've heard this year. Shut up. I wonder if Alma finds Jill attractive. Answer is sort of. Everyone kind of finds Jill attractive. I find Jill attractive. Come on. Um, and it's not his piercing. I don't go for like. I'm not sold on piercings generally. It's uh probably his eyebrow way raise ways raise. Thanks. <laughs> um. Gives off that air of confidence. Maybe the way he wears his sleeves. Um, let's see what else is going on. And that's that. Back. What were you two doing back there? Fucking. Oh, just chatting then? 
Holy crap, did you two really fuck? John has the face of a man who fucked to death recently. See, Jill? You're making it too obvious. How? What will you have today? I'll have a gut punch. Coming right. Huh? What? <laughs> Nothing. Here. Stop looking at me like that. Sorry. Are you okay? It's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. Did you know Lilum tongues are designed to identify- Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I made a mistake. I didn't change the title of the stream. That's my bad. Uh... Don't blame me for how lousy these titles are, they're just okay. Did you know Lilum tongues are designed to identif identify food using the chemical components? Our tongues were designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I checked my personal specs, and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2235x, uh, times. Uh, that makes me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. Why all that exposition? I mean, I'd lie if I said I wasn't interested, but why? Well, after last time, I got curious and started checking how many of my systems worked in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibrations, you can make a seismograph with them. Huh. And checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. And that got me thinking about what you said. I mean, for my systems to work, humans had to understand how they work. And after all those discoveries... All those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know. Uh, looking up all of that sudden... Uh, I don't know. Looking up all of that suddenly made me feel real. It was the opposite of what I felt last time, and I feel like I'm right I'm here right now. Glad to hear that. Alright then, let's try something sweet now. Most expensive sweet drink is this, so Here. Uh, nice. To be honest, it's a bit surreal for me. What? I'm here talking to you and you're answering like any human would. You're even expressing happiness. I remember when I was a kid, I usually tried to strike conversations with AIs. But after a bit, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same things over and over. That always made me crash back into reality. When I think back to that, having such advanced AIs like you here right now, it's amazing. I don't know. Makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. It helps when I feel particularly cynical. Aww. You flatter me. Besides, I've always thought about humans like nature's Lilum. The method might have been different, but we, too, evolved from a more simple form ages ago. Lilla managed to create biological life years from now, it will all have come full circle. So what should I take from this is... Oh. No. So what should I take from this is... You love me? Don't overdo it. Anything else? Let's go with a sugar rush. Okay. Here. Even in doubt, my love for these is real. How romantic. 
Man, that go-go is a blast. Don't you feel like talking a bit more with Didi? Didi is too much of a prick, and Gogo is tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartenders. Oh, fuck. Well, I tried, Jill. Uh, no. Well, I'll try. Well, I tried. Jill, I'll be in my office. Cute little girl alum! Cam girl! Oh, fiddlesticks. What's your name, girl? I'm Dorothy Hayes, at your service. You come here often? Are you hitting on me? Hey Dorothy, I'm in the middle of a live stream. You wanna participate? Sure, sounds fun. Okay, let's take a recommendation from you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Bartender, a sugar rush over here. Bar. Ten. Dur. Sorry, what? Trigger rush, please. Right. Here. Good choice. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Good choice, Dorothy. Yay! Okay. Hold up one second. Let me just do this. And how's that? Is that okay? Hope you're still picking up. I just thought it was going to Yay! So, what are you doing in my turf? Um, streaming channel. Yes? No, I mean, that's what she calls herself. Yeah, that's a tacky name. Yeah, but it's my tacky name. Actually, that's not really my name. What's your real name, then? Behind streaming chan's awesome mask lies the humble... Nicole Chen. Humble. Why not call yourself Streaming Chen? It's funny that you mention it. You see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chen. I changed websites so the name felt a bit out of place. Thus, I became Streaming Chen. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chen, though, so I just went along with it. Oh, yeah, I get it. At one point, I was gonna call myself Dolores Hayes. But then I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. Anyway, I'm here because the last time I came, I ended up with greater viewer numbers than usual. And so, I wanted to treat my loyal audience again. Oh, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for, for some comfy fun. Honey here might seem harsh, but you just need a cracker shell. Shut up. See? You just need to say the right thing at the right time and she becomes a sweetheart. Quiet, you. Don't play hard to get. You know it's true. Hey, stream girl. That's me. I'll regret asking this, but don't you have a sponsor? It's weird that it's been this long without some advertisement. I wish I had a sponsor. I'd even take somebody as simple as... McDonald's. Is that too much of an ask? Uh, the Scotch, the the company that makes the um the tape, and I also think the the sponge thingies. Is that right? Maybe that's not right. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I have, but you see. The contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had to make a new one. He was going to send the draft to his lawyer as it had a couple of additions, but... Um... Let's say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became... Unreadable. Okay. Oh. So he used the contract to... Yep. 
He cut it into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously. Oh, penis. Sorry. He cut it into a pair of panties and rubbed it vigorously on his penis. I mean, you'd expect certain principles to be upheld in the adult VR industry. I reported him and he got fired, but now they're looking for a new business person thing. Honestly, I think the paper cuts all over his dick are punishment. But I mean, why the contract? I don't mind it if he jacked off to an image of me, but the contract? That's money that you're soiling right there. I would have gone back on the deal were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely. Some people, seriously. Ah. Uh, dick paper cuts. I've done enough crazed teacher fantasies to know how they can be a problem. I don't think you need to have experience to understand that. That said, Jill's been grimacing for a full minute now. Don't <clears throat> mind me. Huh. But you know, I like you, Dorothy. Why don't we celebrate with beers? My treat. All right. Two big beers, honey. Called her honey. One, two. Four, five, six, four, Cheers! Cheers! So, what do you do, Dorothy? sex worker. Really? You wouldn't happen to have male co-workers, do you? Am I not good enough for you? Getting serious? No. Sorry. Fooling around, maybe. Still, I want to spice up some premium nights, so... Do you have a card? I can send you some numbers and pics. Sure, here you go. And here's mine, just in case you change your mind. Hey, is cam girling like that a good job? Can you earn enough? More than enough. I can even afford an apartment in a high-end district of Blitz City. It could be a challenge from time to time, though. You can't just do anything and expect people to come back. You need to be varied. Keep it fresh. It's all worked out nicely, though. I'm one of the top streamers on my website. I even got this! Uh, who that? Who that's supposed to be? A pillow? Not just a pillow, a Takimakura! With the website's president on it. Interesting. It's a trophy in honor of all the money I've brought to the website. It's even a direct line to him. Oh. It's even a direct line to him. I can use it to call him for tech support on the spot. Call him, call him. Let's see. It's busy. Oh well. That's weird. I have never contacted Twitch support, but I pray that I never have to, you know? The only condition they stipulated for this Dakimakura is that I can't use it for premium content. Not that I would have, but, you know. Boring nights, lonely nights, everything could be a dildo if you're brave enough. That kind of stuff. Yeah, you tell me. I can show you something too, but only if you let me promote myself at the end of it all. Sure, go ahead. ta -chan! You! Sorry, I didn't really put my heart into that one, but I wasn't done. I can see you're no stranger to the lube content, but the streaming site allow it? Well, first they gave me the means to stream, but my website was different from theirs. Eventually, the demand for adult content grew, so they added lots of gates to let people get lewd. They created an age gate because of you? Yep. Nice. Any other streamer you feel like to throw you? 
Well, MMA Junkie 2040 is seriously becoming a threat by the day. He got this dog to train with him and suddenly everyone got interested in mixed martial arts. I wish him all the best, but he's crazy if he thinks he'll take away my spot. Oh yeah, that guy. He was better when he was fatter. Not only was it all the more funny, it was also more inspiring. And I'm not exactly a fan of dogs either. Well, it's been fun, Dorothy, but I gotta go. Mind if I stick with you for a bit? Oh, by all means. Let's continue the escapade then. Sure. Bye, honey. See ya, honey. Ooh. The pillow didn't transition perfectly. It's just another sprite. That's fine. It was, it was, you know, sometimes you can't get all the layers to time. I think. Uh, words. I'm not a game dev. I don't deserve to criticize. Do I remind Dorothy that those ears of hers are signal jammers? Oh. Nah. I wonder if the stream looks distorted, though. We're done, boss. Man, don't you just feel great? Are we in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Today I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with then. Basically, keep it up. Well, tomorrow's the big day, so get ready. That goes for both of you. Either I'm getting old, or that girl was too much for me. What mistake did I make? Oh, right. I didn't want to have it. You have no new notifications or reminders. So why isn't she homeless? Not that I want her to be homeless. But... I'll leave the closet open in case you want to hide from the noise. Thanks. Thank you. Adam and Chris. We wanted to stop the epic memeing for a while just to say thank you. Big, big thanks to each and every one of you who bought this game. Thank you for reaching up to this point into the game. Thanks for all your tweeting, all your questioning through Tumblr, all the emails, etc., etc. Even though we couldn't answer every single thing, we can't stress how much we appreciate all the messages we got. Thank you very much. The road was rocky. Things weren't as smooth as we had hoped around the end of development. We even had some people actively trying to sabotage our work. But like Big Match John, we beat the odds and kicked out at two. At two. Thanks for reading through all of my nonsense. Hope it wasn't too heavy-handed. Let's fill the world with badass cuties. Can't agree more. Weird message. So I guess that's the end of the game. Like, on its way. Augmented Eye is down for me. And that's it, okay. We save. Tough way. And that means this game is like, 20 days long or 19, whatever, how many days? That's a long time. Anyway, I guess we're rounding up on the end. I'm pumped. I will give it my best. So get ready for. Now, would you? You've been you stuck around long enough if you've been here this whole time. So let's just uh, 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 go. All all four all. All agents are a go. If you know what that's a reference to, uh, you get one pack. Just one. Oh, also my eternal love, but that's not as valuable. Saturday, December 31st. Well, let's see. Jill's in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food I've ordered. They only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. Are you alright? I'm scared. Abby will show up at any minute. Relax, everything will be alright. I could assure you of that. Drink something, maybe that'll cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you, I don't know, a hug? Does that work? A, a hug? A big one. A reward for after everything's said and done. Gotta go. You can do it. 
Right. Everything's fine. You've been avoiding this for all these years. Now it's time to face it head on. Yeah, everything's fine. My name's Apollo Justice, and I'm all right. You know, everything would be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. You know, that's gonna keep me up at night. I'm okay. Um, hello? Gabby. Come in. That's, that's the name. No, the actual translation in Japanese is, I'm wrong. I fucked up. I'm wrong. You say that when you're entering and leaving rooms, especially before classes end. It's rude to leave early. Anyway, excuse me. Welcome to Valha- Hey! Talk first. No, I... Well... Some days ago, I got a letter. And even odder than getting a letter is the fact that... It was from your sister. A what? My sister sent you a letter. That's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? No, I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's read it. Alright then. Sorry. Just... just that? Yup. Isn't there anything else in the letter? M maybe on the back? <sighs> this is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite thinking about it. After all those worries, after all those problems, after all these years not talking to her, she sends me a letter, a fucking letter of all things. She just says, Sorry? Sorry for what? For our fight? For not talking all these years? Ah, Now I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> you laughing? Alright, I just... <laughs> I remembered all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like that time where she gave you chocolates labeled 1, 2, and 4 during Valentine's Day. And you were pissed about the lack of a 3. Or that time when you left an unopened beer bottle on the table. She sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you she did it, and you were confused all day long. She always bragged she knew me like the back of her hand. The letter was supposed to piss me off like that. I guess she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? You told me she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case was more focused. They usually amputate or replace the part and call it a day. But organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant rejection. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yup. Thing is, apparently, she suffered that since she was 18, but kept it a secret from everyone. Why? Well, if I know... I was angry to learn that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. 
shots near her heart every three days. Apparently, the serum burns like hell. The shot even... Uh, the shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark? And the rejection was what ended up killing her? The nanomachine rejection was what ended up killing her. But they couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. The doctor said she might have missed a shot, or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker. The condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere. Or maybe it was blood pressure? Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone. So nobody knows! Maybe if she told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Thinking about what ifs won't bring her back. Eh? I spent so much time hammering myself with what ifs after you told me she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? If I just swallowed my fears at the very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I had given a chance to the research institute thing back then? And the amount just increased threefold after I lashed out at you the other day. But today, I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive. You're here. Sorry. You're alive. You're here. I can make amends with you. But I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can't apologize to you right now. Jill. Lenore, she's... She's resting. She's just resting after having that heart condition all these years. She didn't have to face it alone, though. If she only... So? Let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn, let's mourn her together. If we are to honor her, we'll do it together. Together. Lenora was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is to try to lighten it up. Lighten up, and even if it's only for a moment. I need to ask, though. Did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? No. She didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She did complain about chest pains from time to time. But that actually goes way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods. I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. And you didn't deserve that. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you know? We both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been mature and not shouted at you either. So, let's just call all that water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course I am. So how did you find me exactly? Uh, um... Well... Have you heard of a, a message board called Danger U? I have, yeah. Well, the truth is that I visit it from time to time. And the other day I read a thread that discussed the bar. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. Are you mad? Not... No, not mad. More like... Dumbfounded. Hey Jill? Can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well... Hmm. Back then, I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. Not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. 
had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have cri- uh, I would have quit right then and there. And then after graduating, I got a very job- a very good job offer. That she accepted on my behalf in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me in my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there. But she still insisted so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future and she started talking about marriage. You were going to get married? I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line. But she mostly teased me with it. The thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I loved her. I don't think I was ready for such a commitment. Especially after, especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't gonna let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she could be really pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her. And that was partly because she was so pushy. Even if she had the best intentions, she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained down on me at that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. What would have stopped her once we'd gotten married? What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after marriage? I knew her. She would do it thinking it was the best for me. But what about my freedom? My say on the matter? So that's where you stopped loving Lenore? No! No, no. I never stopped loving her, which is why it hurts so much. But you have to understand, I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. Just out of routine, getting used to it, I wanted a break from everything for a while to put my thoughts in order, regroup myself, think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I'm s I've sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college. So that's what led you two to fighting, huh? Eh, you know, the word fight makes it sound like we exchanged blows or something. It's all silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps if I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity, maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. It could have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that with her. My sister said something like that. Huh? I told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? I should have listened to her to the end. But instead, I kept pushing her. I should have kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her offer, not mine. I should have stopped projecting myself so much into her. Something like that. Lenore. We are quite the hotheads. You, me, my sis. You were supposed to be the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly. Huh. Why didn't you come back, Chill? You end up hating us that much? Does the break include us too? No, it's just that. Remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke a window? How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded? But my sister wouldn't have scolded you. And I was afraid. Dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. I faced her back then, and I was, like, seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same. And in perspective, no matter what reason I came up with, it will never make sense. Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? Not that it makes things easier. I won't ever get to speak to her ever again. It feels bad because it's stupid. I swear, 
You and my sis were meant for one another. You both moved on after all that. Neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. Like I said, writing myself over those past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss her so much, though. We were together all the time. Always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so... quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah. She was an amazing person. Eh? Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told you that all the time. The same way she told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces. Both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. So, let's have a toast in her honor. A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. A, a drink? Don't worry, trust me. Grab this for a sec. Okay. Hmm. Lenora, I know you're watching from beyond right now, as I give a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me now that we both meant to make amends at some point. We never got around to it. I can't apologize to you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. So know that I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. I'll make sure Gabby grows into a fine woman, just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Hey! Wanna add anything? Um... I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me. Say it to her. That's a bit... Come on. Just this once. Uh, I'll always miss you, sis! Sis. Sis! You idiot! Why'd you keep that secret for so long? Idiot! Idiot! I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough? You idiotic idiot! <laughs> ah! Wow, that was terrible. Hey Jill! Promise me you won't be like that knucklehead. That you won't keep stuff like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And promise me we won't fight. I can't do that. Huh? You and I are both too thick-headed. Sooner or later, we'll clash on some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults we are. I'm not an adult. Let's face it, you've been more mature than I have. <laughs> hey, you mean what you said? You'll look after me? I'll always be here for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm not Lenora, but I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Jill. Hey, wasn't this a toast? Right. For, Le for Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so, about this drink, can I drink it? You like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. Why not drink it then? You're with an adult. You might as well break the alcohol taboo here and now. Oh, I didn't give her an alcohol. Right. Now that I think back to it, didn't your sister give you a beer once as a prank? Oh yeah that. It was April Fool's. I should have known better when she offered me apple soda. I put bubble gum on the soles of all your, all her shoes in retaliation. She walked funny, and my jaw hurt for the rest of the day. Yeah, but did you know you got my drink that time? 
Huh? She gave me a beer and it turned out to be apple soda. Oh. Did you get back at her? Well. I did hide all the dildos in the house that night. Only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. And as a follow-up, she used that same cu cucumber in a salad days later. Gross! Don't do that. Like, alright. I'm not gonna preach to you to, like, my lesbian fans, but, um, lesbian slash bisexual slash trans fans. Uh, women. Women. Anyone who has a woman as a partner. Or somebody who identifies as a woman. Anyone with a vagina. Anyone with a new vagina. Don't use your sex toys in food. That's gross. So gross. Okay? Like, save the edible stuff for the bed. You know, don't, don't do that. Okay? Cool. Thanks. This was sex ed with Nishido. Anyway. She said, so, do you like eating me for lunch? <laughs> Jill? I'll tell you when you're older. Or never at all. Hey, Gabby? Do your parents know you're here? They think I'm at Clary's, actually. Who's? Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. And this Clary knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. How would she cover for me otherwise? True. Will you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Clary doesn't live close by, so... Hmm... Well, it can't be helped. I live nearby and the streets aren't exactly safe at night. Why not stay with me today? Uh, are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough, at least to spend the night. Sure, I'd love to stay with you. But aren't you homeless? Great. Hey, does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yup, he opened a second branch last year. So he's looking to expand? I think he got into a partnership with a friend in Motor District. The guy saw an opportunity after realizing Motor District has almost no bakeries. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. He started shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were a lesbian! Mark one for daddy! I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of his ever since my sis was 12 years old or so. Dad said sis was into girls. The acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on whether he was right or not. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's even labeled Sweet Victory. Huh. Your mom and Lenore never made up, did they? <sighs> I guess that one wasn't as simple as the said one too many things argument. Mom was always obsessed with high society and her circle of friends. A lesbian daughter was a no-no. I'm still on my sister's side for that one, though. Mom didn't reject her because she was herself. But because she herself was homophobic, she did it because her friends were. To mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How did she react to her death? I don't know. Mom and dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married, so there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since. August, I think? Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't showed up. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit, but I'm not alone anymore. Thanks to you. Huh, I thought there was going to be a party here. Alma, over here. Party? A small New Year celebration. Want to stay for it? I, I don't want a kid to burden. Don't worry, he won't. You only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. It'll give us time to catch up even more. I can introduce you to some friends. Are you in? If you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma. Come here. There's someone I want to introduce to you.
Guys, take note of these Twitters. I'm, uh, oh, I'm not fo following Ironic Clark. Ironic Clark? Ironic Clark. I want to. I should. I'm gonna do that right after this. Anyway, I have to cut the stream short today because I have a paper that is like 40% of my grade, so that's happening. Uh, okay, so uh, for the record, you, sh you guys can totally fo follow Michael Kelly, uh, Garou Music, um, not just on Twitter, but also on Spotify. You can see the whole, uh, you can listen to the whole OST, including extra bonus tracks that you can hear in this playthrough. Oh, and recently, if you've been following me on Twitter, which, um, please do that. Uh, not just so you know when I'm streaming, but also so you can see my gross memes and drama. And, uh, so I can talk to you guys. Like, I want to talk to you guys, you know? Um, which is at, uh, wait, at Way of the Beach. It's at the bottom of the Aside from, you know, I wish I could have given you guys a more full experience with this game, but I'm really glad things turned out the way they did, except for, uh, except for Jill being homeless. That part, I, I probably really regret, you know? So... Yeah. Um... Go follow me. Or, sorry, subscribe to me on YouTube because I got some uh, original content coming up there that is not streaming. And I guarantee you guys will not be expecting it. Uh, I'm really excited for it. I just need to find time to actually do it. It's in the works, you know. Um, yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. I also got to meet a cat boomer. Why? Your boss hug you? No? Oh. Why did your boss hug you then? He's that kind of person. Now let's sleep. We're dozing off back there. You're right. Good night, chill. Play some more tomorrow. Good night. Uh, this game was produced in Venezuela. What's going on here? <sighs> you think I'd be evicted. They are pretty ruthless. They don't even allow you to skip one month? I was two months late already, actually. <sighs> Jill, Jill. At least it wasn't because you spent too much money on useless stuff, right? Right? About that. Forget it. I don't want to hear. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow you'll regroup and think what to do next. Y yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here, by the way. Whoa, your bed is huge. A queen size, considering I lived with a guy for at least four years. It can get lonely, but also really comfortable. Just like single life, I guess. Hope you don't mind sleeping with me. But there's not enough space for the futon in here. 
I haven't slept in a metro a mattress in fuck over two years now. That could be good for your back. And bad for my morale. Anyways, good night. Nighty night. Having her hug me certainly doesn't help. I don't want to wake her up either. She looks so comfortable right now. <sighs> I wonder if Boss would have let me crash in her place. Oh well, let's just try to sleep a bit in. No four, go away. No, you piece of fur. Don't you dare sleep on my butt. Mm. Here, you can now save heart data. Loading heart data from the title screen or bar will let you start over from day one while keeping your items and money. Oh, that's New Game Plus. Yeah. Even a visual novel can have a New Game Plus. Never forget. I'm definitely gonna go back and play on my own to get all, all the other endings. But uh, probably not gonna upload that stuff. Oh, they're, they're standing together, that's cute. Maybe I will record that stuff separately, not on stream. I'm, I'm, you know what? I think everyone wants something else for, for the stream. You know what I mean? Okie doke. Oh, let's, uh, howdy. Um, oh, I should switch to just chatting now. Ups a days. All right, so it's been a long ride with uh, with Valhalla, and I really enjoyed the game. But um, all good things must come to an end, you know. So what do you do? Um, I don't know what game I'm gonna play next, so. Possibly, I might finally get around to streaming some Apex just to fill the time. Or, you know, there's like a couple games sitting in my Steam library that could use some play. Mm, who knows about that? But from now on, on the stream, unless I get a strong response from people, and probably while I'm still trying to grow this channel, I'm definitely considering not playing games that take forever. Like... Forever being several streams, you know, I, I'd probably dedicate, uh, well, it, it really depends on if people want me to continue playing the game. That's part of it, right? But in the meantime, I'm probably going to try to do a bunch of one-offs. Because I still want to stick to this, like, core thing of being, like, a Let's Player, right? But, like. I can't just spend weeks and weeks playing the same game without any channel growth, you know? That's just not smart. Uh, anyway, it's 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, I have some work to do, and I'm glad that we finally got around to finishing this game. Um, that's it, really. <laughs> I got nothing else to say. Um, please tune in, you know, same time next week on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I will try my best to, to bring up that YouTube uh, stuff. R really, I'm, I'm so far behind on YouTube uploading. Uh, I, I just haven't had a chance to, to get that. Um, oh, and this is something you can check out in the future. If you, any of you guys play Pokemon Go, uh, I play with my girlfriend and my other friends. And we usually are definitely out on Community Day. I will try, maybe maybe not live streaming it, maybe I'll just record and upload that to YouTube. I haven't decided yet. Uh, the, the logistics of that are a little difficult, you know what I mean? But I will try to record some, some Pokemon content. Uh, and we'll see how that works out. You know, should be cool, I hope. Um, and uh, that's it for now, I guess. You know it's me, Bishido, and uh, you guys stay pretty. So, bye!